Uh, colder weather is kind of strange because um, we're in the fall, so it's cold. It's too cold for helium balloons. Um, it's getting too cold for vinyl inflatables, which holds this sort of thing. Um, getting there, but we're not quite there yet. Um, good news is, is that the latex balloons don't oxidize so quickly. Um, bad news is as well, helium's gone, you know, we don't use uh, the four wheel helium balloons. If I had a heated space, yes, then I'd do that. But out here in the balloon barn, um, not so much. So you can have a lot of fun with latex balloons until it gets too cold and then I get driven indoors. What have we got? And by the way, if you think I'm doing something wrong when it comes to inflating these things, um, by all means. <laughs> you know, say something in the comments because, um, like I said, I can't get these anymore. And I really hate to just accidentally burst them, so... I think the problem here is I'm getting greedy. I have all this uninflated balloon left over and I want to inflate that and it's too much pressure in the balloon. So, well that's two. I'm very upset about that. Um, I don't have some more. Let's see if we'll find one more. Okay, when this happens, I usually don't feel very good about how the balloon is ultimately going to inflate. Um, okay, let's see. I was really looking forward to having a purple one to go with all the purple balloons. I have to look in my furnace room. I have that's where I keep kind of the old stock of balloons. And um, because of temperature control, there's no sunlight. 
Um, it's heated. Heated in the winter. It's cooled in the summer. About constant, like sixty-five degrees. So, um, yeah. Oh, it really bothers me that I accidentally burst those the two purple ones. I'm gonna come a little bummed out about that. But all right. Well, see you next time. Have fun out there.